on his visit to Senedd in Cardiff today. Wednesday the 16th of November, Prince William responded to severe criticism of his support for England's football team in his capacity as Prince of Wales. During a humorous conversation with the Lynn Wid Ellen Jones during a tour of Siambra, the future king, who was named Prince of Wales by his father the king in September, took up the issue head on. The engagement comes after Prince William met the England football squad to present them with their World Cup shirts as part of a special send-off ahead of the upcoming World Cup in Qatar. Welsh firebrand Michael Sheen has launched a war of words with the Prince after the outspoken anti-Brexit actor blasted the senior royal for handing out shirts to England's World Cup squad despite holding the title of Prince of Wales, just two years after he said William should never be given his father's old title. Sheen called Prince William's Monday visit to the team's training facility where he presented them with shirts for the FIFA tournament in Qatar as entirely inappropriate. Sheen had previously criticised King Charles for travelling to Wales in the midst of the Queen's mourning in September. In a video shared online by the English Football Association, the Prince of Wales proclaimed to the World Cup squad, We're all rooting for you! But taking to Twitter, Sheen, whose acclaimed roles have included Tony Blair, football boss Brian Clough and broadcaster David Frost, thundered, He can, of course, support whoever he likes and as president of the Football Association, his role makes visits understandable. But surely he sees holding the title of Prince of Wales at the same time is entirely inappropriate. Not a shred of embarrassment or sensitivity to the problem here. Many supporters were in total agreement with Sheen's comments. Owen Williams said, He's English. He can support England. In fact, he can support whoever he wants. But that title is objectionable. It implies national subjugation. It must end. He's Prince of Wales. By dint of his dad giving him the title. It means literally nothing else. End it. Siobhan Jobin said, William is English and should proudly support England. No problem or bitterness with it. I don't need him supporting Wales out of duty. Let's drop the farce and pretense of title of Prince of Wales and allow William to be himself. One Twitter user said, I have to say I agree. I'm a fan of his, but he can't be tone deaf in his new role. If he is Prince of Wales, he can't be parading around supporting a rival at world stage competition. It's embarrassing. Not everybody agreed, however. David Jenkinson said, He is the president of the English FA. Of course, he is going to support England. His title as Prince of Wales has nothing to do with it. William then hit back at Sheen, telling reporters on a visit to Cardiff that he would be supporting both England and Wales. He replied, No, it's OK. I'm telling everyone I'm supporting both. Definitely. I can't lose. I've been supporting England since I've been quite small, but I support Welsh rugby and that's my way of doing it. I happily support Wales over England in the rugby, so I've got to be able to play carefully with my affiliations. I worry otherwise, if I suddenly drop England to support Wales, then that doesn't look right for the sport either. So I can't do that. We can agree to disagree, said Miss Jones. An England versus Wales World Cup final would be the best. That would be pretty good, added William. He went on, I'm making sure I'm out there supporting Wales through all the process because I know it's a big deal for Wales. When I was growing up, Wales weren't getting through to the tournaments, so I had to make a choice. In September, the actor branded the King and Queen Consort's visit to Cardiff on a Welsh national holiday insensitive and insulting. He said, There is more than one story in these aisles. There is more than one tradition. There is more than one history. And two years earlier, Sheen revealed he handed back his OBE after receiving it from the late Queen in protest over plans to make William the Prince of Wales. The actor, who received the honour from Elizabeth II at Buckingham Palace in 2009, said he made the controversial move to avoid looking a hypocrite before giving a lecture on the history of his native Wales, including 
past wrongs committed by England to fracture us, to control us, to subdue us. William's visit to the Senedd today included a brief tour of the Senedd building and the debating chamber led by Ellen Jones, MS, the presiding officer called Linweed in Welsh. William also met with representatives of the political parties in the Senedd. Welsh Labour, the Welsh Conservatives, Plaid Cymru and the Welsh Liberal Democrats, which gave him an opportunity to learn and discuss what matters the most to Welsh people. To end his day in the nation, the Prince of Wales also visited the Welsh Youth Parliament to hear directly from the young generations what matters the most to them. The Prince and Princess of Wales are visiting in an effort to better understand the problems and opportunities that residents most value. After King Charles gave his firstborn the title, he has held for many years, Catherine and William indicated their wish to further enhance their ties with Wales in September. A few days before being named Prince of Wales, William spoke on the phone with the Welsh First Minister, Mark Drakeford, and expressed his gratitude to His Majesty for asking him to represent the Welsh people. According to a statement released by Kensington Palace, William is reported to have talked about the time he spent living with Catherine in Anglesey while he was an RAF search and rescue pilot during their phone conversation. The statement added, the Prince and Princess of Wales will spend their months and years ahead, deepening their relationship with communities across Wales. They want to do their part to support the aspirations of the Welsh people and to shine a spotlight on both the challenges and opportunities in front of them. The Prince and Princess look forward to celebrating Wales's proud history and traditions as well as a future that is full of promise.